going on guys chaos here uh, back again well there's gonna be three little recap on the last of our video we explored a little bit we found out they found these two guys uh pretty much like trying to beat this old lady that we met before but apparently turns out she's a hag an old hag which is like a, a type of fae that is like evil so we decided to go and get rid of her because apparently she took the sister of the brothers, which she did. Uh, went down her lair, which are full of traps. I just jumped over as best I can and I just honestly just ran through them and just healed my guys up because I have so many potions. Well, we took her out. We ended up taking Marion out, or Marion out because he doppelganged her, doppelganged as her. And I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, now we're back at camp. We're gonna rest real quick and we're going to grab Sylvanas or Halson to come uh, this, with us to the Underdark. That's the next mission now. I've come to sate you and be sated. I lead, you follow. I totally forgot that this happens. So you think. Let's see if you're right. A dragon's heart beats inside you. A dragon's blood heats your flesh. It is time I take what's mine. Black shoes could be better. Close your eyes and submit. <laughs> you awake in pain. Your back, your hands, even your tongue ache. It's time to rise. Dawn is upon us. breath every blink proves exhausting a long day awaits you okay well that was eventful curious i drained you dry yet your body seems <laughs> no more worse for wear perhaps i might find use for it again Let's go talk to Carlock. What's on your mind? And let's go talk to that heart. Dun, dun, dun. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? My guy's a player. Oh no. Very serious of you. But go ahead. This back and forth, uh... Always good, when I'm with you. Attitude is crazy with her. Alright, let's go talk to Halsum. You wish to speak? Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but 
fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. I'm just, I'm just going to the, the talk, see if we can perhaps get him to join but us. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. Yeah, I guess we can. But... Do we have anything to give, offer? Oh... Let me give this to Guidance. I hope we'll give that to you. Okay, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and leave camp. There we go. With that. No shot. That sucks. Let's get going. in there. Mm. Sure, does that say? And they're everywhere.
Who the heck just fought us? That's crazy that he's not getting Swift hit. As my feet can carry me. Gosh, I only did four damage. This might not be good because my guy is. Let's go with... Cry about it. Damn, that's crazy. I'm not doing that much damage on this guy. Probably must be an ally.
Don't jump over here. Can't give up now. Dude, that was crazy. <sighs> Better than nothing. I cannot believe we got that. Speak to the undead. I just take this. Where's that? Where's it at? I need a bear necklace for sure. What's that? They're coming. They're coming. Control your thoughts. It seems I'm not the only one listening. They're coming. Me in two. No time to rest. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistray. Blood can only be honored with blood. The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging in the air in silent offering. Fourteen to thirteen, fifteen to fourteen. Well, well, well. All right, what now? Making me sweat. Me? Do. 
so far, having a good time. How much farther can I go? Pretty wild, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Other than that, like, these whole spots are nice to look at. Said they're coming. They're Broken coming. Broken bones. Must have fallen. Oh, I mean... Actually, let's see. Hmm. Beacon of Hope. Okay, no. Those are good, actually, but... Spirit Guard. I need three, I only have two, so... Then let's get her one more. I already have Guardian Boat, I already have that, that. This way. Still breathing, despite everything. Don't waste a step. Viridian crystal. I want to explore more. I want to see what's down here. Oh, actually, let me save it. Always got to save. Something might be done. Mask and torch stalks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, blown up by the other. What are you doing? Oh, 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 wow. Can't believe I did that. So can I not push this away? Oh no man, we can. We can go. Something's up here. Oh, what was that? They go away for a second. 
Okay. So the only way we could have went. What's down here? Looks like to be a deserted village. I wonder if they're humanoid. They're not humanoid. This game does this. All's well that ends, not as bad as it could have. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music through one creature sing many voices, the harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign. He has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. I was hoping it wouldn't give me a you one. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious, but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. That's cool. That's really cool. I guess I don't talk to him. I guess I should have... <laughs> I guess the game messed up. Good. Because that almost. Blurg. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance, at your service. Or oh, 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 
perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis? That's impossible, Whoa. but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? I have broken free from the Elder Brain's yoke. I no longer serve the Grand Design. I ask that you refrain from violence. While I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. That's crazy. A collective quest to eliminate the Gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Hmm. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal but i have an idea oh perhaps i should start taking notes there may be a way to bypass that stasis there are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind i do not intend to shatter its protection I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. 
I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. The Southwest, when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. Hmm. She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. Okay. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects. Once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion, your sanity, however much you possess, <laughs> should remain intact. Uh. May your travels be safe and swift. Okay, well, Welcome back. Learn. Have you made any new discoveries? The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. I do enjoy a good bargain, if anything in my private collection is to your liking. Oh, that's actually pretty good. The baneful. Okay. Whoa. Oh, these look so cool. You're getting two turns of heat. What does that mean? It's pretty good. I might take this. Uh, what else? What else do you have? Eesh. What do I have to offer you? Mm. A ring? Um, I want to keep these. If smithing is an option, I don't think so, so... I'm liking how that sounds, Horner. These look good, though. Decisions, decisions.
very well. Let's go talk to oh, up here. What is the creature doing? The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you. As the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker. I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwegger, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Dwegar invaders? We can manage that. Better than picking this fight, surely. How do I fight them? Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. An illusion comes over you, a Dwergar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. If I die down here, destroy my corpse. Don't worry. <laughs> I wouldn't hesitate. Of course, Liza, of course. You may not. The spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. Of course. Jeez. Okay. This is pretty cool. Alright, so now we've got to go down here, I'm pretty sure. Right? To... Yep. Lake Manoid. Alright, well, it's pretty great. I've seen a lot of things. Pretty cool in the dark, it's pretty cool. The myconoids are pretty awesome to look at. Uh, we shall see what happens in the next. And that, I hope you guys appreciate the video. Please leave a like, comment, criticisms would be great to hear about it. Uh, probably in the next episode, we'll probably like, or episode, <laughs> next uh, video, I'll camp and go down to the lake, destroy it, see what I can find in the dark. Other than that, you guys have a good day and good night. Peace.